Okay, so for the snowflakes that I, sh that I promised I'd show you how to draw these. It's honestly been so long since I've drawn them myself, so I hope my brain is telling me correctly how I used to do this, because I used to make them all the time, because they're just like a fun little thing to make. So on the first there, I'm gonna maybe choose uh, red, so I can tell this layer apart. And I'm just gonna draw a line, so in Procreate, you can draw a line quite easily by just holding it at the end and it'll kind of snap into place to make sure that the line is actually straight. And I drew that on a bit of an angle so I'm just going to select it and kind of make it look like it's straight in line with the actual screen. It's a bit better. So I'm going to switch back to black because I find if you draw and you're drawing in black, it's easy to change the colour anyway. You can just overlay a colour on top in Photoshop if you want to change the colour. Um, and I just like drawing black anyway. So I'm going to create a new layer, select my tool. I think I'm just going to use a technical pen Yeah, And I'm going to make sure the streamlines all the way up so we don't get any bumpy lines and it kind of smooths it out. So you can see it kind of like snaps into place a bit when you're drawn with it. You probably already know this, but again, just in case you don't. Um, yeah, and so we're going to use this line as our guide. I'm going to make the brush a little bit thicker. It's too thick. Let's decrease it a little bit. That should be fine. Okay, and this is our guide, and we only need to draw on one side of this, and then we'll repeat it to make it symmetrical all the way around. And you can be as creative and, you know, do whatever you like with this. You don't have to do the same as what I'm doing. I'd encourage you not to because it's fun to just try your own way of doing it. Um, I'm just gonna turn this a bit because the way I draw is a bit um, dodgy so you can see it. <laughs> um, yeah, let's start from the bottom. So kinda, hmm, yeah, I'm just going to draw a random thing. I'm just going to draw a swirl here to start with, and that's my starting point, that's the bottom of the snowflake. And then from that point, I'm going to bring it back over, and then just create some random other swirly lines. And the shape can be any that you like. Just have some fun with it and experiment, and just create any curly, swirly shapes. It doesn't have to be swirly like mine. You can create any shape you like. That looks good. Okay, so and then I'm gonna go back into it and yeah, maybe like add some shapes inside that. And just to add a little bit more DL. Kind of go back up to that center line. and then just pull out certain details that you want to add into it and then connect it back up to the top there so that's your full shape. And then if you like, you can then add shapes within these other areas that aren't connected to the line in the middle. That's a bit messy, let's try that one again. There we go. And like so. I guess once you have like a basic shape for it, the rest sort of falls into place. I'm gonna add a little, little extra piece on the end here. Like so. And if you wanna add like any other little bits, like some little dots, just to make it like a bit different. Go ahead and add those in. Obviously the great thing with Procreate, if you feel like you've made any mistakes, you can just go ahead and press undo. And I'm just gonna add like a few little dots down here. Might as well add some here soon as I've done it inside the rest of all the swirls. Yeah, I like 
like that shape. So, just to give you a general idea, that is potentially a good starting point, but you can't really fully tell in this until you repeat the whole thing. So let's just go with it. And you need to go back in, and it's easier to turn the streamline off for this, at least most of the way. So you can just colour the whole thing in in black. Now we have the whole bit coloured in. You can add any extra little deals that you want in here. Now you can see what's what. I'm going to add some inside of here. Like so. And this is so much easier doing Procreate back when I used to create these. I used to do them by hand, but then obviously you then have to scan that in and edit it and then piece it together whereas doing it straight it straight into Procreate kind of removes that whole middle step and keeps it a fun little project to do. Okay so let's go with that. I'm going to remove my line that I created and then I'm going to duplicate this just slide it over press duplicate and then with the arrow I'm going to flip it horizontally and carefully line it back up like so so then you have your first stem and then you can sort of go into this and look at the way it's lined up make sure it's exact and it's just off just about there yeah and then you can go in and edit the way that this looks when it's put together. So make sure it's fully neat. And if there's any overlaps that you're not really enjoying, just remove them. You might need to switch between layers. Or you could just merge them at this point, I guess. That's probably easier. And merge it down into one. And then you can just work on it as a whole fill in any little gaps that you might have missed because this is the piece that we're then going to replicate to create the whole snowflake so we want this one to be just right. Maybe you're in Australia. Mm. Add in any of the little deals that you like okay, as well. Like Let's add a little heart. So you can be as detailed as you want with this. You can do it a lot more exact if you like. I know I would if I had a bit more time to spend on it, make it a lot more detailed than I have here. I like little intricate details, but for now as an example, I'm quite happy with that. Okay, so let's move this one to the top. Maybe you make it a tiny bit smaller as we might not have enough room to create the whole snowflake at the size it is. Okay, there. And now we're going to duplicate this one again. And from now on, it's just a whole lot of duplicating and flipping and repositioning. So let's put that one there, like so. And it's connected in the middle. And then this is our top and bottom. I'm going to merge that down, duplicate again, select it, rotate, press that twice. And then you can see we've got this part of it. Actually, we can just merge this one straight down. Oh, this is so much quicker and procreate. Let's duplicate that, rotate 45 degrees. And there is your perfectly symmetrical snowflake from just one, drawn one little piece. And if you don't like the way that it's um, replicated, you can then adjust it as you go along. And if there's any little bits that you're not so sure on, you can always change 
as you go. Let's make this bit a little bit smaller. I think that would be nice. Yeah. Yeah, and it's all about experimenting. If you like, you can go into this part, remove some bits of it. Um, maybe we could rub the center part of this piece out so that there's not as much busyness in there. Oh yeah, that's a bit better. So it's a bit too crowded in there. Obviously you want to make sure you do this before you flatten the whole thing. There you go. Let's fill this in and then I'm going to go back in. Let's maybe add a little. Yeah, so it's a bit near. And there you have it. Perfectly symmetrical snowflake. And the more times you try to recreate this, the more fun it gets as you can kind of learn how it would look once it's replicated and you can just adjust it as you go along. And every single time you do it, you get a different result. So it's always fun to give it a go. So I hope that was useful. And if you do give it a go, share your results with me. I'd love to see what yours come out like.